from Chicky Richard Cookings chicken and cashews Chinese style. We're just going to put our wok onto a fairly high heat, add some oil, toast off our just raw cashews and put them to one side. We want them nice and crunchy. We've just got some potato starch here. I'm going to add a little bit of our chicken stock to that to dissolve it. Mix it very easily. If you can't get potato starch, use corn flour or arrowroot. I have some tinned mixed vegetables here, Chinese vegetables. We've got bean sprouts, we've got bamboo shoots, water chestnuts, carrots, and baby corn. You can buy these all individually, but I don't need that much. So this all comes in one can, very convenient, especially if you're traveling and you can get all of your Asian flavors. Obviously they're not fresh, they're tinned, but they're a handy substitute. We've got our chicken here, just thigh meat cut into little pieces about that big. This is a very fast dish, we've already steamed some rice. We want some colour and crispness on these cashews. You can substitute almonds here as well. Once they're cooked we're just going to take them out and put them to one side. Now watch you don't burn these because they will get quite bitter. Just keep tossing them around and then we're just going to fetch them out. We're going to cook our carrots and our chicken because they are the things that are going to need the most cooking. We're using oyster sauce, soy sauce, sesame oil. We've got some crushed garlic, carrots, celery, onions, mushroom, capsicum or bell peppers and two whole spring onions just cut up into big chunks. Okay, I'm pretty happy with that. We'll remove that now. Leave the oil that's in there. It's got a nice nut flavor anyway. Nuts are very good for you. I'm only using three thigh fillets here and they're not particularly large. So it's actually really quite an economical dish as well. Okay, now in with our chicken now. And keep that moving. Our carrots go in now. This is an induction wok, so I physically can't remove this and shake it, so that's why I have to move it around whilst it's in contact with the element underneath. Okay, you can see there's quite a bit of colour on that chicken now. We're going to send in all of our remaining ingredients. Turn it back a tad. Nice, lots of nice colour there. Our tinned mixed vegetables now. Garlic can go in now, crushed garlic. Our soy sauce sesame oil, oyster sauce. Now stir that all around. Now you can see there's not much liquid in there now. What we need is to add our chicken stock with our thickening which is our potato starch. Now we want all these vegetables still to be quite crisp and colourful. Okay it's in with our chicken stock now. Now you can put cauliflower, cabbage, broccoli, anything you like in this. We've got lots of nice colours there. Use as much of our thickening as we need to make a nice glossy sauce. We've got two heaped teaspoons there in a cup of stock. Put the rest in. And that's it. Steamed rice. Spring onions go in now. And that is ready to serve. Hope you enjoyed this little cooking demonstration of Chicky Richard Cooking's Chicken and Cashews Chinese style. If you'd like to see more interesting recipes and ideas, just check out our Chicky Richard Cooking channel. And don't forget, please subscribe and do come back and visit us again soon. We have so much more to show you and we're uploading lots of videos. And thank you very much for watching. Have a great day. Okay, we just sprinkle our crunchy hot cashews over the top and they are still very, very hot. And there you have it. Mm -mm. Thanks for watching. Have a taste, shall we? Some of our vegetables, some of our chicken, some of our cashews. Mm. <laughs> the chicken is tender and moist. It's well flavoured. Cashews are crunchy. Mm -mm -mm. Thanks for watching.